After many discussions with real estate agents, the biggest conflict in finding a home for a buyer has been the low inventory, right? And clients that want move-in ready, picture perfect, all the upgrades, and you know, well, you've heard it all, I'm sure. Sometimes it takes creativity and a good imagination to help your clients find the not so perfect, perfect home. Most of our older, more established neighborhoods have great access to shopping, great schools, and are family friendly, but the homes may not meet today's expectations or just need basic repairs. Recently, we've had a couple of borrowers that found a home needing some repairs, such as a new roof, painting, an upgraded kitchen, bath, and an area that's going through gentrification. You know, gentrification is the process of renovating a deteriorated urban neighborhood by means of influx or more affluent residents. You know, that improvement. Well, when a neighborhood starts going through renovation, then the shops pop up. Sacramento's seeing a lot of this in neighborhoods that are bringing in the cool urban eateries, coffee houses, brew pubs, and shops that make the neighborhoods feel like it has it all. The FHA 203K loan or Homestyle is a great loan to work with. The 203K Streamline gives $35,000 in home repairs, such as things like a new roof, upgrading the kitchen, replacing heating systems, painting, and more. The loan is based on the price of the home plus the cost of the repairs up to $30,000 and you have about $5,000 for reserves. Then the appraisal is based on the value of the home when the repairs are complete. New homeowners that use this loan product usually realize equity upon move-in or at least makes them much more competitive in the market. Our last buyer that used the 203k loan purchased the home, put about $30,000 into repairs, and the appraised value was $23,000 over their purchase plus repair value. Walking into a home that already has equity is a great thing, it makes you feel good, and it's good for the pocketbook. It's all about being creative and having the ability to imagine the results. Now, for minding your own business. Let's talk about one way to leverage your database or just pass clients to generate business. It's a great way and one of the best in my mind. Let's say you sold the Joneses a house two years ago and they use the FHA with 3.5% down. You run a market analysis of their home and see with the annual values that they could actually have 20% in their home and they could refinance and get rid of mortgage insurance. Tell them what you think of their home right now, what it's worth. Offer to hook them up with your loan officer to see if they can lower their payments or get rid of the mortgage insurance. By following up with them, it shows you're thinking about them, you care about them as a client and as a friend, you have their best interests at heart. They may be ready for that move up knowing that they've built up equity or have a friend that wants to purchase. You just never know what reaction you're gonna get, but it's usually positive because they know you care. Give it a try. That's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me. Again, have a great day.